Hi, I decided to bring you along. I'm making my grocery list for our family of three. We have a 17 pound dog. Our normal budget has been $300 every two weeks, so $600 a month. But lately, or for a long time, I haven't hit $600. I've gone well above. I've gone up to almost $1,000 because we're still buying things we want and need. So currently, I'm at $198 at, for Walmart pickup and Sam's. I have $115 and at Target, which is just basically eggs and canned items and pasta, which, because it's cheaper than Walmart, I'm at $1,807. Here's our little pantry. I have flour back there behind our bin. I have to figure out what to do with our quinoa because I'm pretty much the only one who eats it. We have extra oats behind that. We don't really do canned food, but I'm buying it on the just-in-caseness. So I'm getting some one can of Spam and one can of corned beef. I'm getting a little bit more um, tomatoes products. See, we're running low on grits. That's on the list as well have a big thing of chia seeds. I'm getting a little bit more of croutons. I just bought the Jiffy corn mix today. I don't really like to buy prepared things, but I know Thanksgiving is coming up and it'll just be the three of us. And I know my husband likes his mom's dressing, so I went ahead and I picked those up when I went to Kroger today. Also added in our grocery list is one can of cream of celery soup because that's what she uses to make her dressing that he really enjoys. I got some more spaghetti because, as you can see, we don't have that much of that. We do have a good amount of fettuccine and other pastas here. We have a good amount of dried beans. I have another bag of red beans down here in our not so pretty backup bin. I'm getting some more chips for our son because he likes lunch that I pack. I might get rid of these smokehouse almonds. We've had them for um, almost two months now and to me, they're starting to taste stale. So there's that. I'm gonna refill the Ritz crackers in here. And I guess I can pick up some club crackers because that's all the club crackers we have. Our son just likes to snack on that. Some more snacks. I think I'm good on this, but our son really prefers the chocolate ones from Aldi. So I'm gonna pick up like two more boxes for the next two weeks coming. This is just a big um, basket of extra things. Mostly like Asian things like noodles, some um, dried mushrooms, some seaweed right there. Cause I, sometimes I send him to school with sushi rolls. He really enjoys those but that's our pantry i got this huge spaghetti squash from aldi um last time i went shopping so i definitely need to cook this because i also bought acorn squash and like a week after i bought it i went to cut it and it was completely destroyed it was um rotten on the inside i was very sad about that so i'm gonna have to bake this like tomorrow it has to happen. Our fridge. We're looking pretty good on everything because I noticed all of our condiments. I have backups on. Um, I don't like when I do use this. It does turn things yellow. So I don't love that part about it. But I do love the convenience and the ease of use. Publix tends to have a larger variety of all the, well, not all, but more um, versions of bouillon. So I picked up some sofrito. They even have ham base, which is interesting. I don't really need ham base, so I didn't get it. Today is trash day, and this second shelf is where I like to keep um, our leftovers. So, and I like to keep it at eye level to let me know that this needs to be used sooner. Down here, I like to keep our citrus in here, even though citrus is best outside of the fridge 
I just don't use it, go through it as quickly as it needs to be. So this is also good visual for me so I can see what I need to use up and use it sooner. I like to buy a good amount of eggs. I usually buy eggs 60 at a time when I go shopping twice a month for our big shopping trip. And as of late, Target is the best place for us in our area to get eggs and some canned tomatoes and also pasta. So we're looking pretty good in here. Won't need any lunch meat. We're pretty much stocked on breakfast meat. We have bre breakfast meats in the outside freezer. Um, we have sliced cheese, we're pretty good on that. It's mostly just my son and I who eat the sliced cheese. My husband will do sliced mozzarella on sandwiches, on burgers. And here is extra cheese, um, like block cheese and shredded cheese, Parmesan cheese. We like that on our salad, my son and I. I still haven't put this in the container and I bought this like over a week ago. So I'm not gonna buy any more mushrooms because obviously I'm not in a mushroom mood. I'm also going to buy some celery. I like to have celery in water and carrots in water for when I make my own chicken stock or whatever I need to make meals with. Oh, we like to keep our bread in the fridge. Um, we're having chicken sandwiches for dinner tonight, so we're going to use this bread up. Um, usually do this for toast or I make um, cinnamon toast with this and I make sandwiches for my husband and our son to go to work or school with. A little bit of tortillas for tacos. A little bit of Hawaiian rolls for snacks or lunches. Our inside freezer is a mess, but it's organized, so that's fine. I was gonna buy waffles but I was trying to trim down the budget. I can make waffles. We literally have two waffle makers, so I can just go ahead and do that. And as you can see, I have this big thing of blueberry, so I can make blueberry waffles. I have just a little bit of pancakes that I made. So we are good on that. Up here, I have my soups and stuff for smoothies. I kind of have them filed. I laid them flat to freeze, so it's like I have a good amount of soup. This is butternut um, squash soup that I made. And we had one more serving of chili, so I went ahead and I snuck that in the freezer. So these are pretty much my lunches that I have an option for during the week. I like to keep our breakfast items in here. Um, like meats and a little bit of hash browns right here and the pancakes. Use these for um, my husband's lunchbox or our son's lunchbox. We have one thing of mini cinnamon bagels. So we're good on that. We have just a little bit of sausage, like six left. Some frozen spinach. One um, little bit of pumpkin puree and underneath that, you're looking at the orange shards. That's actually cheese sauce that I made and I lay it all flat and then I just break it up and I chuck it in the bag so I can make uh, macaroni and cheese or cheesy broccoli so easy for our son because my husband doesn't enjoy, um, he doesn't enjoy cheese. Only cheese he will eat is mostly just mozzarella. Here we are in the garage, our garage refrigerator. Um, my husband's beer. Not really much happening in here. I like to keep it pretty much empty in case that we have leftovers and I don't feel like taking out the pot. I just chuck it in here and deal with it another day. We have our filtered water for our dog. Um, I think she just does better when we filter her water than getting it from the tap. We have, um, I just got empty bags here that I need to clean out. One pound of butter and one thing of syrup so I won't need to buy syrup because we haven't really been going through like pancakes or waffles like that I'm down to just three of uh, my coconut water so I may or may not get it probably not because I'm already uh, well over 300 this go round now 
for our bottom freezers, which I think all pull-out freezers are a hot mess. No matter how much you try to organize, it always ends up mess. So when I went to Aldi, I um, got some mini wontons. They tasted pretty good. We have some extra breakfast meat over here. I just saw something. There it is. <laughs> That's going there. I tried to have this bin. This was originally the ice catch when it was um, our inside fridge. I tried to have like our ice creams in there, but as you can see, we were running out of space. So I was just chucking things, making it good enough so it can close. Up here, I like to have, uh, ideally, I would have liked to have um, like our chicken scraps like um bones so i can make soup and i have our big bag of wings which is really expensive 10 10 pounds 30 dollars so there is that one extra loaf of bread you can see i like to just keep bread in the freezer when it's on sale and we have all these halo tops because when i was in kroger today let me close the freezer before it starts to beep When I was in Kroger today, they had them on sale. Like if you bought three, they were um, going to be like two forty nine dollars each. So, and we have, we already had three because I was at Publix and they were having a buy one, get one. And I went ahead and I got each of us our own flavor. And it was definitely cheaper to buy Halo at Kroger because it was $5.99 for two. So, but what can you do? It is what it is. We have three pounds of bacon, so we are good on breakfast meats, okay? Um, one unopened waffle fries, one that's probably like a little more than half, but we're gonna use that tonight because we're having chicken sandwiches, so there's that. What is this? Oh. We have, my husband has two catfish. I probably can get him some more. Probably not this go around, but he will, you know, I'll get it when I can. Let's see, some chicken. We have a good amount of chicken. Like, we have chicken breasts, we have chicken legs. We have one or two things of pork chops. It's not as full meat-wise that I would like. I am not comfortable with this. So, I do have a 10-pound tube in our grocery cart at Sam's. So, and I also have two whole chickens in our cart at um, Walmart. Here is our calendar. I really have not been writing down any meals. Like, I've just been pulling out a protein and winging it and going from there. So... I'm not sure what it's gonna look like. We get paid on Friday, so I'm gonna have to basically have the rest of the month sorted, but I will, cause we have meat and frozen vegetables. Oh, I didn't show you the frozen vegetable drawer. Let's go to it now, shall we? Can make sure that I'm good. This whole drawer is frozen vegetables. It's Two bags of okra, so I can definitely, I'm glad I opened this because I have two bags of okra in our Walmart cart, so I won't need to get that because I'm the only one who eats okra. So I like to just roast it with salt, pepper, a little bit of turmeric, mix it with a little bit of butter. Delicious. As you can see, this is full. So we have that, we have green beans. I'm looking at some kale in here and some broccoli. My husband doesn't is not a big fan of vegetables unless I cut it up small or blend it in. So it's mostly the kid and I. And <laughs> my husband or my son, they don't like um, chicken pot pie, so I can't really make that. And definitely they do not like cottage pie. So, I mean, my husband will eat it. It's not his favorite, so I really don't cook it even though it is a pretty affordable meal because it's just potatoes, ground beef, and vegetables. We have corn at the very bottom, some more broccoli, but this is broccoli cut. 
I even have some bell peppers that I flash froze. So we are definitely good on vegetables. So I'm gonna keep on doing this to get my budget closer to three or more likely 400 as possible because I still have to go to Aldi to get some vegetables. And like I said, my son really likes the chocolate flavored um, bars. So that's gonna be maybe $20. It depends on what the vegetables are gonna look like because um, as of late, I haven't been too impressed with Aldi's um, produce section. It's been affordable, but it's affordable for a reason, at least in my Aldi. It's because it's close to its end of life date. So I don't know, but I think I'm just gonna write down $30 just to be conservative for Aldi. So I think that might be well over 400, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.